Sarah here from Dice Dan. Welcome to another Sunday video. And this week I'm showing you how to make this card. It's called a trifold card, but it's a bit different because it sticks out the side here. See, as you can see. So I'm making this one for my color creation called Lemon Lolly. It's a very lovely, beautiful color, le lemon. I, I love it. I actually really do love it. Oh, I've got a shuckle. But this was my original one from that I did about 12 months ago and I put it on the side to say, oh, I'm going to make that and I never did. So I decided, you know what, I can't keep putting things on the side and not making them. So here we go. So I've made this one using the, I don't know what this was set's called, Sweet Citrus. And then this is the new paper that's in the new catalogue. And I just thought it was gorgeous and I thought this is lemon lime twist this is granny apple green and the rest is lemon lolly as it's called so that's our card for today so let me pop that on the one side and let me show you how we make this about that my battery ran out just as I said and then we're going to show you how to make this so let's start again with it let's make it I'm using this one called artfully layered um, because I haven't used this and it was and it's now finished so let me show you what I have used out of it so I've used this leaf and I've cut him out because that, this one came with dice um, and I've also done my um, front saying because I wanted to use this punch called pick a punch banners pick a punch Okay, so and I saw if you're happy as birthday to you and for the inside we're going to stamp Sending all the hugs So that's what we're using Now for let me move them out the way a minute. I'm using I'm going to be using old olive in, for I don't know why I've got that one there. That's not for that project that's for something I picked it up by mistake so these are all the bits that we need for this project so let me show you what you need and if you're sensible the way you cut things you will see that you can cut it all out of the one piece like this so you need a piece of card that is nine inches long by five and three quarters inches and then nine pieces by two and a half inches now that is the A4 width of a card. So if you cut this at nine inches long and then cut two and a half inches off, you've got your two pieces. So that's them. Then we need layers. Now I'm also using DSP that is actually retired. And so you're going to need three layers. One, two, three. That measure five and a half by two and three quarters and then the DSP to go on it which is five and a quarter by two and a half then for this piece that's for this piece of the card for the tri-fold piece on the top you're going to need three pieces of card that measure two and a quarter by two and three quarters they're going to go across here like this and we need to make sure we have this going these pieces going portrait, these pieces going landscape. So you will need two pieces that measure two inches by two and a half inches and one another piece in white that measures two inches by two and a half inches because that's our piece for writing on. This is my little tag here that I did with my punch and I've got a couple of nice leaves here that I've already cut out. So let's move these out of the way, all of these bits, and just, oops, don't fall on the floor. And we'll bring in the scoreboard. Okay. And we're going to score both of these pieces identically. So we're going to score them on the long side using the small end of our tip at three inches and at six inches. So that's three, six and then we're going to do exactly the same on this piece we're going to score it at three inches and six inches okay so that's all our scoring done 
let's pop this one out of the way and we're going to concertina fold this so we're going to scroll mountain fold making sure it's nice and flush on both two ends there just to make sure that you don't get a wonky edge and a valley fold so our card will sit like a z fold we're going to do exactly the same with this piece we're going to have a mountain fold making sure uh, once again that we get nice crisp edges down there and a valley fold so we have two pieces that actually go exactly the same way like that all right oops that's wrong way up like so so they're both scored exactly the same way now if you wanted to score that before you cut it that's another option so anyway so we're going to start with this piece here and we're going to pop our layers on now i don't know what the back of this is like so i might put that one in the middle and then these two on the outside so like that to give it a bit of um i don't know interest is the right word i think i'm thinking of so we're going to pop some glue on these pieces as i say this paper's all retired so don't please please don't say to me oh where can i buy that one i can't i can't do that for you today um, I can tell you the name of it and if somebody's got it for sale that'd be great but I can't sell it to you I haven't got any for sale so but it's just that as I've said it before and I'm going to keep on saying it you can't keep purchasing and not using I'm, I love to purchase it and I do purchase heaps of paper but I do need to use it as well so I'm and I think, you know, as a demonstrator, I need to, to, you know, reinforce that to people, you know. Okay, I want you to buy product from me. Yes, I'm not saying I don't. But as a crafter, I know we don't all use it all up in, in, on our projects and we have stuff left over. By showing you that you can use the, the older papers, along with the newer ones you know it just makes life so much better for everybody because you can go oh well, I've got some of that I bought some of that two years ago or whenever it was instead of always oh dear I can't afford to purchase any more this week but I'll do it next week and then you buy something different so let's use up what we've got as well as make buying new stuff some of my things will be with new things this month and some will be with old papers okay so we've done our first part of our card and we're going to do this part the same we will do a little bit of stamping on this piece first so that's got a few seconds to dry before we're ready to pop it on so Sending all the hugs. That looks a bit better. Sending all the hugs. Oops. Oh, yes, beautiful. Out the way there. Let's pop that one just there for a second. And once again, I think I'm going to pop one up the wrong way or the opposite way to the other. So let's see. We can then, by doing that, we get so much more um, interest in our card, don't we? This is a nice, lovely, easy card as well. And I love some of these easy cards. I'll, this, I think, will be my second easy one for the month. Okay, so we pop them there. So what we need to do is we need to know that this is going to go exactly the same way as this one. So whatever my first fold is, which is about a mountain fold, we want the mountain fold on the left-hand side again. So we're going to pop these on here like so. Hmm. 
making sure that you get your pattern up the right way if you've got a directional pattern like this one is I mean it's got upside down ones as well but it's more directional in one direction than the other now if you wanted to put an extra writing panel on the back that's fine I haven't needed to because I can put whoever and down here in the small mount so that's going to go on the inside of that like so. So what we need to do now is we need to bring in, let me pop the pen in my loo. I've already lost one pin today and I don't know where in heaven's name it went. I looked everywhere. So we're going to measure in from the left hand side a one inch. Now just put a little mark there as long as you can see it. doesn't matter. And then we're going to measure down from that from the top to one and five eighths of an inch. So one and four five eighths of an inch. Let's move that in a little bit so that we don't see it. Where, where was my other mark? I can't even see my other mark. Oh my goodness. Let me do this again because I can't. Oh, there it is. I can see it now. Right. And then one and five eighths of an inch in from there. We're just making a little mark there like so and the reason for that is because we are going to pop our glue on here so I can see that that's roughly in the middle so I'm going to pop the glue from my one and five eighths mark wherever I put it and I can't even see it again there it is right out to the edge down to the side and about the same amount out the other side we want to make sure that these are glued down nice and firm so we're going to pop this on here and we're going to just pop that just so that the glue is um, not showing and just make sure that this is one inch top and bottom while it's still drying there we go that's a little bit in a little bit less than one inch Ooh, get off the me and we want to make sure that it's even nice and straight down that side once we've done that we're going to bring this across here and we're going to turn turn this one back and we can see that we need to glue in that section there so we're going to we want it lay it flat and we know that we need to put glue in this section here. And once we've done that, we can then pop that one back over there so that it lays flat on top of there like so. So when we fold it up, it comes together nicely. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? And it was so easy to do because we've just glued that bit and we've glued that bit. So that's our card, so let's finish it off by putting these lovely leaves on here and I'm going to pop them on like so and somewhere around I had my saying, what did I do with it? Did it fall on the floor? It fell on the floor. Excuse me while I go down to the floor and pick up my tags. <laughs> that wasn't very clever was it? <laughs> so let's, oh ouch I can't get my leg in now <laughs> sorry about that so I'm going to glue this together like so and I'm going to pop these on here like this with my words in the middle like that what do you reckon yeah I think that looks great doesn't it so I'm actually going to pop these up onto dimensionals Oops. I'm not worried about one of them but the other one I will have to put something on it maybe one of the little ones let's pop one in there the bottom one in A 
and where's my little ones? I'm going to pop that one up there, but I'm going to have to cut, trim that off because they are, even the small ones are just that tiny bit too much. There we go. Let's get them off my scissors. So we've got that one. No, I think I'll put that over the top like that. So I need two more dimensionals, larger ones on the ends. And I've got a little bit stuck on my finger. And then I'll pop a tiny bit of blue in the middle here. So that it does actually stick down onto these other ones. my middle bit and that's it so all we need now is to put some bling on it let's pop my pen in my glue so it doesn't go yucky I've got these these are called iridescent rhinestones and they are still current in the current catalog so let's pop a few of them on here and I think I'm the smaller one just over here well, that's the card for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's another nice short video this week. Um, it's called a trifold card. It's just a little bit different than a normal trifold because it sticks out the sides. And this sticks out the side so that it measures four inches in width. So it will fit in to a, a regular card base uh, envelope. So that's our card for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. There's my other two. They are a bit springy, but over time they do actually, like this one, because it's been sitting on my desk for a while, it has gone and flattened down. But they do flatten down, and they flat enough to go in an envelope for posting. So that's the card for today, trifold card. If you'd like the written tutorial for this, please head down to below here. You'll find the, written, the link for the written tutorial uh, for my Facebook group. And the written tutorial will be there. It goes live the same day, same time. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I do like to hear from you all. If you would like to purchase any of the products, that, like on this one, which are all current products, please don't, you know, hold back. If you live in Australia, give me a call. I can help you with that. Or send me an email or a PM. I will see you again next time. Bye for now.